What's up guys? By the title of the video, you know what we're working on today. We got some lovely white Air Force Ones right here. Right here. But as you can see in the title, we are going to be customizing like a burning paper effect. It's going to be coming from the bottom and the top is going to have like the original white Air Force Ones. But it's going to have like a red dye that I'm going to dip it like that in there. And it's this artist that's been going crazy on Instagram right now with her customs. I'm going to have a post like showing some love right here. It's going to be showing. Make sure you go give her a follow. But um, she started this trend. I am not the creator of this. But I was asked by one of my clients to recreate this design. So I wanted to take the opportunity to make a YouTube video. Because I want to start making more content. It's going to be a video called Bring These to Life. Let's get it. Step two, after we get done acetone, it's time to drill these holes up in here. Let's get it. Like to go in, hold it right there for about two seconds. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Always, like I said, I like to start with the drilling the holes first. Now we are about to run some water and get it boiling to about, I don't know the temperature if it's boiling, but until it's boiling, that's what's gonna make it, the dye um, have a better concentration. But I'm only gonna dye this probably for like five to 10 minutes maximum, because I do not want the blue to be very, very vibrant, because I almost want to give it like a faded look. And this bottom part is gonna be the fiber part. So, let's get some water. These are the dyeable ones. You want to make sure that they're the dyeable ones because the other ones you dye, the, it don't really stay. The dye don't stay inside of it. So we're going to put this in here probably for like a minute or two because it takes the color real quick. But the key to this, you just got to eyeball it to how you get it to your color liking. Dies pretty quick. The longer you have it in there, the darker the color is going to be. So, also, they get darker after they're dry. So after I just rinsed them out, beautiful color right there. So we better go let these air dry outside. I hope it did not rain. I hope it don't rain, but we're gonna let these air dry. And we better take these out and rinse them out with cold water as well and put them outside to let them air dry. It will make your seat blue, but you can just clean it out with some bleach out here. Also, I definitely recommend putting shoe trees inside of them 
so they can keep their form because when the shoes is wet and you let them dry like that it's going to be all like waterlogged and stuff so shoe trees help out keeping their form I will have a link in my bio to my website because I do sell these on my website. I wasn't going to dye these insoles, but hey, might as well. So we can go with the whole shoe. Let them sit like that. About five minutes. So the color came out perfect. Like I said, once it got darker, well, let me turn this light down a little bit so y'all can see the actual darkness. See that? I love red dyeing shoes, now I'm going to lie to you guys. But now it's time to print the stencils off, my LV stencils. So I can be able to place them all around the shoe. Also, I forgot to say, always when I'm dyeing my shoes, I dye the laces at the same time so the color can complement it. No matter what, if you use the same color dye, if you put a different amount of it to water ratio, the color will obviously be a different shade. So I always try to use that same batch of dye for my shoes or my laces so they can complement each other. Gonna place it on here. Hmm, how exactly do I want it? So now I've placed all the stencils around the shoe. The bottoms is just gonna stay like that because there's no point of painting the bottoms because the client didn't care about that. So it's just gonna have that light blue look. But now we're about to go around and do about three to four coats, maybe even two, cause we use a military blue and it's like more of an opaque color. So it's gonna cover up this pretty fast. So let's get it. <laughs> Okay, so we took all the stencils off and we did some touch-ups. Um, we're gonna come back and do a little bit of touch-ups after we get done doing the burning paper effect. But now let's take the tape off. So you just seen the two colors that I mixed together was the dark coat with also flat black. And then I use some of this reducer, to reduce it down a little bit. And I got my PSI at about 20 PSI. But we wanna do this in light layers and just let it build up. But we wanna try to sell this look of it giving that burning effect. So we just gonna go around the edges of where the blue meets the light sky blue, like so. Around. 
see it's already getting that look. So I'm about to put this in the time lapse and go around the whole shoe and do the same thing. About to make saddle the name wore it out but it's all right and we're gonna mix that with a little bit of dark taupe these two colors really nigga mix it up there we go and we also gonna add some reducer i'm gonna stir that all up up here Take some of this red and also going to use some of this orange a little bit of yellow and we're going to go all around the lines right here just to give it a little burn to look like a little bit of fire i'm gonna put it in time lapse for you guys Just see me go in with all the red, edit the outlines. Now I'm about to use my orange, and that's basically gonna be my mid tone. I'm gonna go and do certain highlights around the shoe, just parts where I think it will look good, add a little extra pop to it. Then we're gonna go in with yellow. subtle touches makes it pop i end up taking the nike tag off and i want to replace it with this just because i like the distressed look so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this to being the same size as that Boom. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray this with a light blue i'm going to mix it with some of my too soft from angelus and I'm gonna do a light blue and then I'm gonna put my LV stencil on there and I'm gonna straight dark blue. And it's gonna come out amazing. So, I'm gonna just do the same size. So actually, I know I said I was gonna paint these light blue, but it'd be smart just to dye them light blue so it could be the same color as the light blue that was originally on the shoe. So once again, we're gonna add a little bit of Dawn soap. So now we see that we reached a nice boil. So we're gonna pre-dip those, just to let them get a little bit wet. Now we got the water filled up. Got my same color red dye. I'm about to shake it up a little bit, make sure we shake it good. Then we're gonna put like a little bit in here because it's not that much water. So we wanna make sure that it's diluted to the right correction. Okay, so we're gonna stir it up a bit. We'll just stir it like this. Actually, that was probably like 30 seconds. But I believe this is the color I want it to be. So we're going to rinse it out and see. I got some cold water. So it came out a little bit darker than I wanted. So I'm about to spray some bleach cleaner spray on it. Should lift the color up real quick. Let it sit like that for like a minute. And we're going to see what happens. Okay, so I like it like this. So what we're about to do is put this in the dryer. This one must look like blue jeans material now. 
So we're about to put this in the dryer for a quick second, let it dry up, and then we're gonna head to the next step. So my mind end up deciding in a little assistance for my girl, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we're just going to do the outline of this. So it's just going to be a fade because I like how this like blue jean look is. So it's just going to be an outline with some of this military blue. And then it's going to show, you're going to see. Just like I wanted it. Yes, indeed. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to take off the tab. Just cut along this with the Zacto knife. All right, so I got these little sewing pins so I can keep it in place. Then back lock it in. Boom. Get it all the way across. Now I'm gonna go online. She did her thing with coming up with this design. Once again, I'm a tagger right here. Put her little Instagram name handle right here. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how it was done because one of my clients reached out and he wanted them done. And me being a customizing business, I'm gonna give them what they want. But I wanted to show y'all how it's done to be able to see you create your own pair in the future. So um, let me know once you do it. <laughs>